Hey everybody! Today I thought I'd cover adding in a dice roll into OBS. Uh, given the nature of the way things are these days, we've been doing a lot of gaming online with our friends, and a lot of those games use dice. Uh, I have been using uh, OBS to pipe a video feed into Discord and just have a spare webcam on my dice tray here. I pick up and I roll my die and there we go. However, as you can imagine, it's not the nicest application. Uh, the dice are small, sometimes there's a glare, it's hard to read, whatever. Um, so I came across this website that allows you to roll dice online. And that is uh, B's Dice Roller, right? Um, put a link down in the description for everybody. Using OBS and the Dice Roller, we can kind of mesh the two and get dice to roll across our screen. It's very cool. So, first thing you're going to need to do is have OBS set up and running into Discord. You can find that tutorial in a lot of places. Using B's Dice Roller, we're going to create a browser source in OBS, and that will allow us to roll dice. We have two options we can go with. One, the interactive Dice Roller, where you change your die roll based on using the interact functionality here in OBS. That will allow you to clear, pick new dice to roll, roll them and they'll go across your screen. The other option, which I like better, is to set up an automatic dice roller using custom URL interaction that we have available with Andy's B's dice roller. To get that set up, let's take a look at the options first. Uh, using the URL customization, we're going to have access to dice color, the labels on the dice, the transparency, the background field color, whether we want shadows, the results to show on screen. Uh, this roll flag is the important magic that makes it work. And our dice notation uses standard D notation. So 1D20, 2D10, something like that. All right. So we're going to grab this example URL here and we're going to go back into OBS and paste that into our auto dice roller. So instead of using the URL here, dicebee.ac, we're going to use dicebee.ac with some flags set. Uh, the dice hex, that's the hex code without the hashtag for your color, the label hex, that's again, hashtag free label color. Chroma hex, that's our background color. Uh, D, 2D20, it's gonna roll 2D20 and roll. That roll flag is what tells the browser source to roll it every time it's shown. Okay, so we're gonna show this browser source and it's gonna roll those 2D20 automatically and we have uh, we didn't set the show show result, I believe. Yeah, the no result to true. So let's get into this and build it from scratch. You're going to have to add a browser source as your source, or a browser source in sources, and we're going to call this one 1D20. And then we can just paste in that example URL that Andy had for us. I like to change my width and height to match my screen resolution. And this is the magic. Shut down source when not visible. Boom. There we go. Let's add some options in here. I don't like this yellow background. So we're going to change the chroma hex from FBFF00 to zero zero b like bravo 140 and that's going to be your standard green green screen tone that's looking good next up we're going to turn off shadows with the equals shadows i'm sorry not the equals and ampersand ampersand shadows equals zero. Now you can see that pulled out the shadows. 
we still have our results box and i'm not super happy with that on the screen so we want to do ampersand no results and you can order these flags in any sequence that makes sense to you we're just going through right now and adding them one by one Uh, no, no result. Not no results. My bad. Sorry, guys. There we go. Now we've got two dice because we're telling it to roll 2d20. Every time we hide the browser source, it goes away. When we reveal it, we get a die roll. We're going to add a filter, chroma key filter, here to pull out that background. And we can go custom and tell OBS that we are using 00, zero be like Bravo 140 as our green. Now we're gonna since we're absolutely specific on our color we can turn that similarity way down until we stop getting a little glow around our dice and that gives us our 2d20. Now, what I've done is I've set up a group, so I'm going to add a group, and we're going to call this Dice Group. We can drag our 1d20 in there, we can add in a multitude of different roles. The nice thing here, we don't have to put that chroma key on each individual uh, source within the Dice Group, we can add that chroma key filter to the group and control everything uh, together rather than adding a bunch of different filters. 40. Turn the similarity down. All right, so now when we go back into OBS and we say we want to add a new browser source, we're going to call this, let's call this 3D6. We're going to roll a new character. Okay, so we have our dice hex color. That's that purple color I liked. Uh, the label hex, that's the orange color. Chroma hex, we do have to change that. And that was 00B140. Right here where it's the, uh, the D notation, we're going to change that from 2D20 to 3D6. Shut down source when not visible, and then change our resolution. All right, and then we'll drop that scene into the dice group folder. And as you can see, it pulls off the background. I think we had no result to pull out the results. There we go. So that is how we get everything set up. And you keep adding your dice rolls the same way. Um, you can trigger your scenes to turn on and off with hotkeys, or if you're using a stream deck, you can use that to turn on and off scenes, or not scenes, scenes, yes, but sources in this case. All right, so we've gone through and we've added our dice rolls. So let me go back to the Go back here and we'll expand this camera view and now you can see what happens. We'll make an investigation check with advantage apparently. And I get two dice that show up on screen until we're done with them. Then we hide the scene. Everything is good to go. All right. Uh, I hope this has been informative and Maybe entertaining, I don't know. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for checking it out. Uh, like I said, links will be in the description below. Have a great day.